farms of the surrounding dairy country, fresh, whole milk arrives at a processing plant in Sturgis, Michigan. As each can is emptied, samples are taken to determine purity, weight, and butter fat content. After the milk and cream have been separated and pasteurized, they go their different ways to be converted into any of a number of dry products turned out here at M and R Dietetic Laboratories Incorporated. Cream, for example, after being fortified with milk sugar and minerals derived from milk, is heated and piped into vacuum condensers in which hot air pulls most of the water out of the cream. Operators run frequent tests on the percentage of moisture still left in cream being processed. And when that percentage gets down to the proper level, the cream is sprayed through 20 nozzles into this huge drying chamber, which takes out the rest of the water and completes the job of transforming the cream into powder. All the stainless steel pipes, tanks, and other equipment in the plant are kept scrupulously clean at all times. You might wonder why they don't just bottle the whole cream and sell it as is, instead of going to all the trouble of converting it into powder. The reason is that there's a big market for it in this form, thanks largely to its economy and convenience. And it took the firm 12 years of research and experimentation before they were able to supply that market. At the milk processing plant, milk is stored in large storage tanks at 4 degrees Celsius, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. The milk is tested constantly for freshness.
Before the milk can be ready for packaging, it is first pasteurized at 72 degrees Celsius, 170 degrees Fahrenheit, to kill all harmful bacteria. It is then homogenized so that all fat particles are evenly distributed throughout the milk. To manufacture cottage cheese, special care and attention is needed. The entire process takes five hours to complete. Bacteria culture is added to the skim milk. The culture causes the milk to thicken. then heated to 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The mixture, now a custard, is tested for thickness and quality of the curd or cheese particles. The cutting of the curd must be judged carefully. The process separates the whey or milky fluid from the curd.